Greetings from True Life Community, Seventh-day Adventist Church, Pastor Bob here. In 2009, there was a Dutch artist who set up a local telephone number in the Netherlands and urged people to call and leave a message for God. The man's name is Johan van der Dong, and he said he set up the phone number with a voicemail to give people an opportunity to pause and kind of, you know, contemplate life. The callers hear this message when they call in. It says, hi, you are talking to God. I'm not in right now, so please leave a message after the beep. There are so many people in the world who don't know how to pray or the power of prayer, who, who they are speaking to when they pray or how their prayers are answered, nor how to thank God when their prayers are answered. The Bible tells us that we should pray without ceasing. How can I pray without ceasing when I have to go to a phone booth? The Bible simply is telling us that we should always be in the attitude of prayer, simply meaning that we can go to God at any moment in time and make a request or thank him for delivering us from an accident on the road or pray for a friend who is ill or simply praise God for who he is. The Bible even gives us a hint as to where we should go to pray. In the New Testament book of Matthew, we read, when you pray, find a solitary place to talk quietly with God. Your heavenly Father will hear your prayers. You'll be blessed in the time you spend with him, and he'll reward you for it. That's found in Matthew 6, verse 6 in the Clear Word Bible. The psalmist also writes, the Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. That's found in Psalm 145, verse 18. We're not told to go to a phone booth to speak with our God. I would much rather just speak to him personally, wouldn't you? I've never had to leave a message for him either. <laughs> you won't have to either. Father, as we come to you in prayer so many times during the day and during the week, I just know that you don't put us on hold. You don't say that, uh, you're not in right now, but you always are. You're always listening, and we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen.